ring this bell three times well. It's told to clearly say my treatment is done. This course is run and I am on my way. My name is Shannon Gunn. I was a marathon runner. I was a burn boot camp trainer. I would run, I would work out, I would eat healthy. I don't drink, I don't smoke. My journey started, I would say, in January of 2021 when I started feeling a mass, which we thought was a cyst. I wasn't feeling good. I just, I wasn't feeling myself, so I had asked if I could have an ultrasound of the mass. I met her with a diagnosis of breast cancer. She had a new breast lump. Unfortunately, it was uh, a little bit more advanced cancer than we like to see. Initially, we thought we could get away without uh, doing chemotherapy for her, but it so panned out after surgery that she did have a lot of lymph node involvement and that chemotherapy really would be needed. Okay, I have cancer. I have cancer, you know, and what do I do with this right now? Just so grateful that I listened to my, listened to my body um, and that I didn't just go along with, there's no cancer in my family, because I think that can get people stuck a lot, you know, and I want to make that very clear, you know, in this is that, you know, just because it doesn't run in your family doesn't mean it can't happen to you. So just be very aware and be very conscious and make sure that you get checked out, you know, you do the right thing. She's just completed her treatment today, which is such a, you know, amazing uh, journey. And week 10 days ago, completed the Sunshine Skyway Bridge 10K race, which uh, to me was like, how does this lady do it? We've finished out four months of aggressive chemo and she's completely wiped out in physical, but not in spirit. To, for me to cross that bridge and get over that bridge, when I, I didn't want to at times, I'll be honest, I wanted to quit. It hurt, but just like with chemo and stuff, I couldn't quit. You have to just keep going. So to cross that finish line, when I had two more rounds of chemo left and I, Knew I wasn't my healthiest, but I was still going. Just thank you. You know, I feel, I feel since, since day one of walking in there, I have felt like they are family, like, like it's home. I even said, like, I think I said, I told you, I feel like during their interview process, they actually asked, like, how nice are you? Because you have to be super nice to work here because every single person I ever came in touch with it, it you know, down to the medical assistants that bring you into the back, to the nurses in the infusion room, to the doctor, Maholtras, to the Sue who checks you out, or the ladies that check you in, everybody is just so incredibly nice. And But I can't say enough about Dr. Maholtra. My husband and I just knew we were in good hands and that I was gonna be okay. I wouldn't want to be in any other place. I was asked why why I didn't go somewhere else down in Tampa, and I don't need to, you know? I don't need to. I have some of the best doctors and nurses around that are local to me, and I'm so forever grateful for them.